is November 14, 2016. We are back at Pigeon Point Landing on Albergati Creek. We had a 9.9 foot high tide this morning and you are observing where the water came to this morning. This is the uppermost rack line from that high tide. We are coming up on a minus point seven foot tide here before too much longer. And we are here today to check on the availability of shrimp. Let me go around here and pick up a little thermometer and check in the air temperature, which is here at 70 degrees. Quite pleasant. All right, we're gonna go down here now. We'll, we'll check the water temperature and salinity. It'd be interesting to see what the salinity is if it has recovered. Now, on Saturday, I had the critters at the Port Royal Sound Foundation, their Maritime Center, for their second birthday. And the salinity there that day was 28 parts per thousand. So it is coming back from the very low 23 that we got here after the hurricane. I get some water and put the thermometer in for the water temperature and we will check the salinity. Alright. Here. Amazing. Now, I really don't know what to make of this. I've got just we're right at twenty-two parts per thousand salinity. I just, I don't, I frankly don't get this because there has been absolutely no rain in the five weeks since the hurricane. And the boat we see coming, no doubt, a what we call the snow birds. Heading south on the intercoastal waterway for the winter. Alright, let me get ready to throw here. We'll see if there are any shrimp. Yes, at least one shrimp. 
shrimp. No size. No size. Now, I have been getting reports from other areas of this estuarine system that there are still shrimp and some big shrimp. I've heard that from the May River. Water temperature, 60, 66 degrees. And we already did the salinity. All right, 66 degrees. If the salinity doesn't run the shrimp out, low water temperature does. We've got some cool nights ahead and not very warm days. The shrimp that I missed. Those two will be going back to be in one of our aquariums and make another cast. Deeper water. We'll see if there are any larger shrimp or shrimp at all. Couple of shrimp. All right. Looks like four or so. One of them a little bit larger, but still not what we could would consider human eating size. The others are what we call bait shrimp. All right, this guy here. Still, I mean, I would, if I had three dozen of these, I might use them for an omelet. But the other guys are bait shrimp. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the video. Looks like somebody else has been here. Here is another shell with a poor dead a little long-wristed hermit i assume it's dead what i'm gonna do is drop him in the bucket with water and maybe he'll have come back we'll see but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and turn the video off for now Okay, we are now at the Maritime Center. I had to come here anyway to pick up a part of the display from Saturday that I left behind. And while I'm here, I'm going to check the salinity. Well, there's Chris. Checking the crab traps. So we got uh, some birds, some bycatch removal devices from DNR. Yeah. And so we're helping them out with just a small study to see uh, how successful they are. And female. Yeah. So you can see the birds on that one over there. Yeah. Uh, they're just right on the entrance way, the right. little red squares. So we're testing them with and without them. Oh, stone crab. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we got a lot of them off from here. Yeah. All right, so let's get I this. came to check salinity. Gotcha. I was just at uh, Albergati Creek. Uh huh. 22 parts per thousand. How far inland is that? It's in the backside of Buford. Oh, okay. Man, you got a straight shot here. issue with my device here because I'm only getting 24 parts per thousand here. Yeah, that doesn't, it hasn't rained, so I don't think that's what well, what I did have you? one, um, he, he'll grab it in just a second. Okay. Yeah, he knows where it is. Well, you had 28 parts per thousand on Saturday. Right. That's weird. Without we are now at the Sands Beach Boardwalk and Boat Landing. And I will do a salinity check here in a moment. Okay, we'll check the salinity here. The tide has started in low tide was about an hour ago. And here we are getting 24 parts per thousand also. All right. Any luck? What you catching? You having any luck? Catching anything? Mm -hmm. Are you catching anything? A little yellow tail bite. Yellow tails. Yellow tails. Yeah. Okay. Little start bite. Alrighty. Well. I coming in. Good luck. Okay. All right. We get back to the estuary now, and we'll check on the accuracy of this thing. I've got water from the Pigeon Point and we'll check it on the refractometer to see how accurate this thing is. We are back at the estuarium in the wet lab and this is water from the Albergati Creek, and this, I'm going to use this to, all right, look and see, it is at 22 parts per thousand, the same as the other one. Now, what I'm going to do is use this this is called a refractometer and I'm going to use it to also check all right the refractometer confirmed the 22 parts per thousand um just dish this out and I'm sorry to say this little long wristed hermit did not survive the time that it spent exposed on the dock. Please, when you all throw your cast nets, take care for the incidental bycatch that may be coming up in your net also. The live shrimp we were just looking at in the bucket 
with water are going in to one of our display tanks. And this was the rest of today's catch. That's about a dozen casts. Still pretty small. This is a silver perch. Uh, he'll be a treat for the stone crab and blue crab. These others will go to feed the rest of the critters here. So, that's pretty much it for now. I'll be going back to the Pigeon Point in two weeks on the new moon. We'll be checking the water temperature, which will be the next thing that could be driving what shrimp are left offshore. So, until then, this is the Sands Marsh Whisperer wishing you drift on easy. <laughs>